Wimbledon, England, too nervous to wait. Elena Rybakina stepped into the center court sunshine before the Wimbledon final Saturday and kept a firm double grip on the black and red straps of the racket bag slung over her shoulders. No way. Not much of a look around. Her play early on betrayed some jitters, too, which makes sense considering it was her debut in a Grand Slam title match. Nearly two hours of big swinging and plenty of sprinting later, she had won the championship at the All England Club with a 3-6, 6-2, 6-2 victory over Ron's J. Berg, the first singles trophy at a major tournament for her adopted country of Kazakhstan. Even then, Rybakina's reaction was muted as can be, a little sigh, a hint of a smile. Happy that it finished, to be honest, the 23-year-old said, because really, I never felt something like this. She was born in Moscow and has represented Kazakhstan since 2018, when that country offered her fun. The switch has been a topic of conversation during Wimbledon, because it barred all players who represent Russia or Belarus from entering the tournament due to the war in Ukraine. Since the WTA computer rankings began in 1975, just one woman ranked lower than the number 23 Rybakina has won Wimbledon, Venus Williams in 2007 at No. 31, although she had been number one and already won three of her five career Wimbledon trophies, Rybakina used her big serve and powerful forehand to overcome the No. To rank Jay Burns' varied style, with its mix of spins and slices, to put a halt to the 27-year-old Tunisian's 12-match winning streak, which came entirely on grass courts. You have an amazing game, and I don't think we have someone like this on tour, Ribe Keen told Jay Burr during the post-match trophy. Hopefully next time you'll be mine said Jay Burr, whose exuberance on the court and personality off it had earned her the sober king minister of happiness. Elena stole my title, Jay Burr joked, but it's okay. By the match's third game, Jay Burr was reading Rybe Keenan's serves and creating fewer inviting. One squash style forehand drew a forehand into the net to earn a break point which Jay Burr converted to lead 2-1 by putting a 120 miles per hour serve into play then watching Rybe Keena sail a backhand long. Jay Burr turned toward her guest box, jumped and yelled. Rybe Keena's miscues mounted. A volley into the net tape with the full court wide open. An edit forehand after Jay Burr barely got a short return in. When another forehand went awry, Jay Burr broke at love to take the opening set, yelled Yala, Arabic for let's go, and threw an uppercut as she walked to the sideline. Jay Burr was trying to become the first Arab or African woman to win a slam singles title in the professional era, which dates to 1968.